What was your rock bottom? I was engaging in my addiction and I like looked up and saw the police and that was like the moment. I am on the path to destroying my life. What was your rock bottom? Oh, well, big question. Wow, getting personal. Have you ever hit rock bottom? When I was 16, I like wrote my own will because I was really sick in high school and I didn't know if I was like gonna get better. I think back and I'm like, it's so sad that I had to do that. What was your rock bottom? Mm, I've lived in a shelter before with my kids. Homelessness, I will, I will sum it up that way. Human beings are human beings. Everyone deserves a place to sleep and eat and wash their clothes and wash their body. Probably would just be like having depression during like pregnancy. When I placed a lot of pressure on myself to do well. When my dog died a couple years ago, he was like my best friend. Just felt wrong not having him around. Have you ever hit rock bottom? Yes. Yes. Oh yeah. Emotionally, yeah. I feel like we hit rock bottoms multiple times in our life. What was your rock bottom? I used to be addicted to Xanax, uh, so that was a lot of, it was several rock bottoms over the course of a couple of years. I realized that I was like on a two year alcohol binge. I hit rock bottom around the time my mom died and I quit my job and I was drinking a lot. I was engaging in my um, addiction and I like looked up and saw the police in a place that they had no business being. So I knew they were watching me. Started my car and drove away and, and nearly had a heart attack. I mean, my goodness. And, and that was like the moment. I'm on the path to destroying my life. Have you ever hit rock bottom in your life? No. 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 If I hit rock bottom, then take me out right now. What was your rock bottom? It was a breakup. A breakup. I had just gotten out of a relationship. I really liked this guy and he cheated on me. I really thought that he really loved me too. I didn't really know what to do with myself. Got pretty depressed. Just kept getting worse and worse. My self-esteem was just so low. I don't know what it would be like if I didn't go through it, but now that I have, I have a way different perspective on relationships. I was brainwashed by my abuser to think about the world in a different way. I didn't like really know who I was anymore. He was like verbally abusive and it kind of started turning into like physical abuse. But then I ditched his ass. That's good, I'm glad you left. Yes. Where is he now? In hell, I don't know. I was sexually assaulted when I was a teenager. I think one of the worst things after the fact was everyone around school talking about it. I was roofied and then raped. I had to go get my kit done. And during your rape kit, they do make sure that like everything's fine and everything was not fine. That person had left some things behind. I'll like never forget that moment. It was the worst moment of my life. So, That's yeah. What was your rock bottom? Ooh. Oh. Fuck, man. Rock bottom. <laughs> tough question. What was your rock bottom? Beginning of COVID. During the pandemic. Right around when the pandemic was kind of taking hold. I lost three jobs. Didn't really know what I wanted to do with my life after that. It was definitely very, like, lonely. I was just uncertain about the stage of my life and where I was. How did you move away from that space? Uh, surround myself with good people. I always knew that I could rely on my friends and my loved ones to help me get my, my way back. How have you moved through this? Therapy, to work on my mental and physical health. Nice to have someone to talk to that you just don't know like on an intimate level. I started medication like for antidepression. Once I got past that and learned like self-talk and showing yourself grace is important, I was able to come up out of that and I'm here today. Do you think you've ever hit rock bottom? No. No. I've lived a pretty good life. I'm really privileged and I have a lot of resources. I think I hit rock bottom junior year of high school because that's when I attempted to take my life. When I was working in paper jobs, I would have to drive over a couple of bridges and there were a few nights where I was like, you know, I think I'd rather just drive off this bridge tonight instead of going and doing my job. It was really bad. <laughs> just wanted to be done. You know, in that mindset, you're very like, you think that you're not deserving. There were times where my mom thought she needed to take me to the hospital because she didn't think that I was going to keep myself alive through the night. I was isolated like physically and I was isolating myself emotionally because I knew I was a really awful, awful person to be around. Do you have advice for somebody who's on a low point? 
show up for yourself. Let's focus on one good thing at a time. I'm motivated to, to keep doing things for myself. Finding those new people that support you. Just having people that liked me for exactly who I was really helped. I started looking for the good things that I can control in life. I think I'm kind of getting some of that stuff worked out. It feels good, it feels very in motion. And now I realize just how quick you can dig yourself into a hole if you don't keep track of yourself first. Bad things exist all the time and if you pay attention to that, it will never get better.